Hey, and thank you for clicking play. Um, today we're going to look at the Spectrum that I got shipped over, which you would have seen in the last pickups video, was in the end the Spectrum Plus 3. So it came with, which is why this is here, it came with a boxed Plus 3 version of Robocop, which I did not have back in the day. Well, I did play Robocop on the Spectrum. Can't remember if I bought it or if I pirated it, but it was off cassette. I do remember that. I didn't have, because I remember very specifically the disc games that I did have. Um, but so it's great to have this because it is a good game, even though I didn't own it in this format. That's, that's fantastic. So this plus three came with this. So what I had back in the day was what was called the Chart Busters pack, which came with two very distinct discs, each with about six games on them. Okay, so that's where it's interesting uh, that I've got this. So what I will have to try and do is also recollect the outer box for this. The outer box for my Cheetah 125, because I do already have one, so I need to get a Cheetah 125 box to complete the set. And then the outer sleeve that would have extended past this to include the Cheetah 125 box that said Chart Busters on it. So I do want to recollect those little things just to put next to my Batman pack up on the shelf there. But let's have a look inside here. So let's take off the top poly there. And neatly packed as I could inside a bag. I don't believe this is the original bag. It might be, I don't know. But this is a reconditioned Spectrum, so it's been recapped and it's had the drive belt um, uh, work done as well. And let's just take that out. It may be, I mean, that's a good length for the bag. It just seems too wide. So I do suspect this is just a bag, but it's a nice touch to, to re-bag things. I like it. I like that attention to detail. So there we go. Let's get rid of the bag and have a look at the machine. It's beautiful. My dad did take it out of the box when it was shipped there first, uh, and he did it on Skype for me. But I mean, obviously you can't see clearly what's happening through Skype, but his words to me were, this thing looks brand new but it's clean as a whistle. Let's look at the back. Beautiful. Everything including the tape and sound port working, and that's very important to me, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, but yep, everything here nice and clean. And let's look at the underside. There. Beautiful. Beautiful condition, not a scratch, not a crack. And of course I was very worried about what could potentially happen in transit all the way between England and Australia. And it's come here in awesome, awesome shape. That's the machine. What else did it come with? So it came with, first and foremost, obviously the RF lead, which is great. It came with, which is even better, an RGB to SCART. The irony here is, in Australia, SCART is not very common. So I'm currently keeping my eye out for an old CRT with RGB SCART, um, because that will help me. The reason why it will help me is because RF signal in Australia, even though we're PAL, the frequencies, um, especially in terms of lining up video versus audio, are not quite the same for Australian TVs as they are UK TVs. So via RF, I can get a picture, but I can't get sound. And I never get sound via RF, I just get a buzz. Um, so that's caused a bit of an issue for me, especially because I also can't use this. So we'll talk about what my current solution is. What else it got? So obviously that cable was brand new. So it's got the card for the cable, troubleshooting guide also for the cable, which is great. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Put that to one side. The manual, bit ropey, but I mean, it would be after all these years. So that's fine. And of course the power brick. And there it is. That was the bit I had trouble repacking. But the power brick, fully working. I don't know, and I didn't ask the question, and I am still chatting with the seller, so I may ask if this has also been recapped, but it's working absolutely fine. And given the quality of the work he's done on the machine, I dare say he would have at least tested this to make sure it was stable. So I'm happy using that. 
I may, same as with the Amiga, I may well get a mean well or whatever they are, just for longevity and peace of mind that I'm not gonna get fluctuating voltages destroying the custom chips in such a hard to replace piece of equipment. This is beautiful. As I've said previously, I really, really, really wanted a Spectrum for years back in the day, and what I ended up with instead was an Acorn Electron. A few of my friends had the Spectrum 48K rubber key. Then a couple of my friends, Sean being one and Steve being another, they got Spectrum Plus 2s, and I loved the Plus 2. I loved the idea of the integrated tape cassette. So I really wanted a Spectrum Plus 2 at that point. And then one birthday, and it was a complete surprise, my brother, my oldest brother, same one that came home with the Electron that other day, he came home and he gave me my birthday present and I unwrapped it and it was a brand new Chart Busters Spectrum Plus 3. And I was over the moon. I had not only a Spectrum, but a better Spectrum than all my friends. Fast loading from disc with the option to load from tape from the back as well, which is something I'll recreate over time. So really, really happy with that. So. To this day, he reminds me, I bought you your first computer. And I say, yes, John, I know I have you to thank for my career and everything. And look, in part, it's true. It's through the Electron and also through this. Um, it was definitely part of my journey, which is great. So the Chart Busters, like I said, came with two particular discs. This box came with Robocop and another disc, one other disc, which is this, which, is one of the discs from the Chart Busters pack. This came with the pack that I had. So I had, the, uh, as you can see there, Super Test 1, Super Test 2, Cosmic War Toad, Gift from the Gods, Maelstorm, and Nomads. So I remember this disc very, very well. So far I have tested this to load. I've not played the games because I want you to be part of my first reaction on this disc. So we're gonna do that shortly. Before I even found this on eBay as a buy it now, I'd seen on one of the Spectrum Facebook groups somebody selling another disc and I grabbed it because it's this. That's the other disc that came with the Chart Busters pack. As you can see there, Chart Busters. So I'm pretty sure this came with all Spectrum Plus 3s. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That came with all Spectrum Plus 3s and this is what came with the Chart Busters pack. So another six games, Yee Ar Kung Fu, Great Escape, um, I can't read what that one says and I can't remember what it is to be honest. Um, Cobra, Short Circuit and Green Beret. And again, this one I have tested to load the menu. I've not played any of the games. I have played Robocop just to make sure it works because I was having to test sound. So let's talk about that. So I can't get sound via RF. I can't use the RGB to SCART. So what am I using? Well, what I did was I went into my garage after going to one of the local shops and I basically made, so this was a stereo um, 3.5 to two RCAs and I chopped off the, so brand new cable, I chopped off the RCAs and added these mono tips. So one for going to tape, to um, actually load from tape and the other one to actually output sound because that's how this works so really it's a stereo jack with the common ground so there's the ground on, on that sorry um, but one side goes to uh, is an input so that you can load games from tape and the other side is a mono output so that's why I've made the cable like that sorry that's deceiving here we go two monos and then this is obviously because generally you'll be going to stereo speakers so that can go into that Okay, so there it is, loaded up. The audio in on this screen only works when you're in RGB mode, not RF mode, so I couldn't use that, so I have had to set up one of my retro speakers. So that's fine. Um, and there we go. That's where the noise comes from. You might not be able to see it, but there is a little bit of ghosting here. Um, but that's just cause the RF signal not quite lining up, especially on these newer TVs. Um, but it'll do for today. I'm not going to do Robocop. We'll do that separately because this is about that chart buster pack that I got. Um, so that's all I'm going to have a look at today. And the other little thing I put to one side, that's basically the instructions for the chart buster disc, which goes with that. Um, right, so let's do, let's just 
go through this disc first of all i mean i've played about with doing some plus three basic before in a video so via emulation so you can look back at that and i will do some on the hardware at some point calculator does what it says in the tin 48k basic i want to re-experience these two discs so let's get straight into it i think it also came with a blank disc back in the day i think i'm right in saying don't have that but i know i can source one of those as well that's side two we want to go to side one which is gift from the gods maelstorm and nomad let's have a play I think I've plugged this in right. I've plugged the grey one into the Spectrum. That's right, isn't it? Because I used the black one for the Amiga. So it must be the grey one. We shall see. I hardly ever use that joystick, in all honesty. But it's the one that came with the Spectrum. That's why I had to grab one when it came up. I have tested both these discs to this far on both sides, just to make sure that it would load, and it has. Interesting, that flickering seems to line up with disk drive activity, so that's interesting to note. Not too worried. Gift from the gods. Does this work? Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Okay, it's, we've got a grab, and we got Nomad as well. We have to use the Cheetah 125. It's how this needs to be done. Gift from the gods. I'm... <laughs> Remember the load screens? This is going to be some real nostalgia kicks. That's good stuff. And look, I've got no wait time. It's interesting, certainly getting some power creep. What I do remember is most of these games weren't great. Does that say Spectrum? I don't know. Let's try it. Five. Sure. What do I press next? Oh, zero to start game. This might work, it might not. Yay! So Spectrum, a Spectrum joystick was the last option. Okay. Um, I can't remember what you do. Obviously I've got to jump that, clearly. Oh, and you hold up to fly, because you got flying things. Interesting, I'm not hearing any sound. And I know sounds working. Oh, I nearly died there. Well, that's, that's not good. I've got a sword. Okay. I've got a sword. Let's see what we can do with, oh, oh that was a sound. <laughs> The sound is so few and far between. The sound is not good. Uh, that button's not working. Oh, I have to maybe... No, that's... Stamina is 55. Can I kill these things? I don't remember. I do remember I didn't particularly like this game. This is one of those games that uh, on a day, after, apart from the day that you got the pack, you'd have a quick play and then you'd come back and you go, maybe it was better than I thought. A bit like some of the games in the 10 star games pack, like Thundercats. Sorry for any fans of Thundercats, it was crap. I'm gonna die. Yeah. And, oh, that's right, I remember that screen. No, okay, so we're gonna have to reset. Yeah, no. There's gonna be some chops here between games. Maelstrom, not Maelstorm, Maelstrom. My eyes, I can't read anymore. Now this was a weird one. This is quite a popular game. And I remember dismissing it in the early days and then going back to it again on one of those bored, you know, sunny days and going, oh, let's give it another go and getting more into it and realizing that this is actually quite a good game. Here we go. Let's see if I can remember what the hell you're meant to do. Postman nasty, out. Um, how do I walk? Yes, I'm postman ma nasty. I like the fact that the, the joystick works straight away. Van, well, it doesn't matter what I do, it's... It doesn't seem to matter what I press. It's just coming up with that. 
Oh, space is walk, is it? What's fire? Fire doesn't seem to do anything. Now that's not working. Okay, that. Oh, oh that's because I'm near the van. I don't. Right, let's walk away from the van. Uh, no, no. Both of those walk towards the van. That's walking towards the van. That's what. What? What kind of controls? Stop it. I'm going to have to research the controls for this and play it again. But it's something to do with you get bombs, don't you? And you, you and you basically deliver stuff and then for some reason you drop oh there's a bomb there. And you can get in the van, you pick up bombs. I don't know how you pick up bombs. I don't have the instruction sheet for this. Or do I? No, I don't. I've got the one for the other disc. I'm not gonna boy you. But basically you get bombs, you get packages, you have to deliver stuff, you jump in your van and there's stuff to do with blowing stuff up. It's a really weird game. But actually on some of those odd days when I got back into it, it was like, actually, this is quite good fun. Why did I not play this more? Look at these load times. Suck it. Other Spectrum users, suck it. Unless you've got one of these and you've shoved a ghost tech in, obviously, then you're saying to me, suck it. You've got to flip a disc over. I don't. Um, now this one, Nomad. This was amazing back in the day to be able to just Shove one of those in and go, yes, it's loaded. It was, it was almost cheating. Fantastic. Right, keyboard, no. Cursor, interface 11. Well, it's not Kempston, it must be, is it number four then? It doesn't work. Let's try that. Then press enter. Okay. So that's rotate, that's right. Rotate, and then you've got, that's it. Yes, I remember this. It's a weird game. It's a weird shooty kind of game. Oh, he's gonna get me, he's gonna, oh no, it's a switch. That's a switch. I don't know why I have to switch it, but I think I've already switched it. That's a shooty thing. That was close. Oh, it turned that off. There we go. If I hadn't hit that switch, that would be shut. Oh, you. <laughs> That's right. Side two. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. We're just going to go through them in order. There's a couple of games that. So there's like 12 games there, if there's six on Super Test 2 as well. Right, I think number four seems to be working for us. Please enter your name. Uh, have we got numbers? No, we don't have numbers. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a name. Right. Oh, so you have to go through them in order. That's not work. Oh, yes it is. Oh, what? What? Up is, that's not working. Maybe that was the problem on Maelstrom. Oh, there we go. That's weird, so I go left then right, or right then left. All right, let's just do this. No, so I think this is just how the game works. Okay, let's try this. Nope, wrong one. That's up and down. It doesn't make any sense. Right, Cosmic War Toad. That's... That's not right. 
then it's gone into loader. Or maybe it loads. Insert tape and press play. No, let's try that again. See what happens this time. Got the load screen. Missing address mark. There's an issue with loading Cosmic War Toad. Not gonna push that now. Look, worst case, I can load these from images off an app. Um, it'll just be a tape load, so that's fine. Right, let's jump into the second disc. Right, so this side is Cobra Mutants and Green Beret, so we'll start there. But I really wanna show you Yi Ar Kung Fu and talk about my memories of that. Because most of these, Sinclair. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, a rocket to the face. This comes back. That's right, there's prams and everything. I want a... That's right, there's women with rocket launchers. This is obviously from the movie Cobra. Rocket to the face. Game under, that's right. Why does it say game under? We don't know, but it does. Uh, mutants, don't remember mutants. Jade swap joystick. Sinclair, okay, good. Press fire to play. Okay, good. Oh, this rings a bell. Or do I have to fit my ship out? I don't know that I ever got this. Um, I'm gonna select, I think that's fitting my ship out and I press that and then I have to select a zone. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's one of those games that look promising and that's, it was, that was a type of weapon. So I've picked a crap weapon. That's good to know. And it's like a maze, basically. There we go, yes, I remember. Um, and what do I have to do? Get out of the maze? Who knows? They got the packaging wrong, because that's Cobra, Green Beret, and Short Circuit. Mutant, so that's Mutant, that's the one I couldn't read earlier. Right, Green Beret, here we go. Missile base. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We may spend a little bit more. That's the same effect as on Cobra, isn't it? And you can go up there. Yes, yes. I think I've got some grenades now. And I don't know how I throw them. Do I press a button to throw them? I've got the instructions right there. Yeah, because I'm a green beret, yeah. I'm a green, I'm not a very good green beret. No, nope, that's enough of that. So, let's turn it over and hope we have more luck on the side two of this disc than we did the other one. Right, short circuit, it's the, my favorite game is at the end. Ah, that's why. It's gonna turn that sound down. There's no RS-232 connect. I've got one, I can make an RS-232 cable. You have to do things, you have to Use, search, read. Oh. It's like an adventure game. Number one for part, here we go. Here we go. I need, to oh, I've killed the thing. He's not happy when he kills things. And I've killed a robot. I can kill robots, that's fine. Because unlike me, they're not sentient. Oh, that was good timing. That rock's gonna get in the way. Oh no, it's not. 
no! Something's gonna die, everything's gonna die. Nope. There. I think I just disabled that one, so he'll probably come back. It's funny how some of these games, what I distinctly remember about things like just playing short circuit back then is I never got much further than you just saw me get just now. Um, and that's just the way it was. You'd fire it up. Glad I had it on disc because it doesn't take long to load. But you'd fire it up, off you go, boom, job done, have a few goes, realize that you're still as crap as last time you loaded the game and move on. Um, and on some of these games, we didn't have any delusions of beating them. Anybody that knows this knows that you don't just pick up and play Great Escape. You basically have to make sure you go to the right place at the right time all the time. So I've got to go to roll call, but at the same time, you've got to try and get your stuff together to, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I don't know where roll call is. Um, so you have to avoid getting in trouble with the guards and then you have to try and get stuff together to escape the war, the war camp. And there's, oh yeah, red cross parcels to pick up. They might have chocolate to bribe a guard. They might have weapons. I mean, solitary, because I walked past a guard. I should have been at roll call. It's a really good game, uh, but it takes a lot of time. Time we don't have today, obviously. Um, yeah, a separate video in itself. L loved it. Once I worked out what you had to do in the basic premise, Fantastic game, fantastic game. Isometric, as you can see. What a great game to have in an opening pack. Okay, it's time for one of my favorites from this whole lot. Ye are Kung Fu. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. So while this lady, my parents are not gamers at all. They didn't play on the Philips G7000. They didn't play on the Electron really at all. The day we got this Spectrum, it was my birthday, like I said, and it was a family affair. We unboxed it, we set it up on the TV downstairs, which was a rare treat, the main family TV in the lounge. That's the first place this thing got set up. The Amiga didn't get this treatment on day one. Um, and my parents played and the game we ended up playing the most and they played each other and they played us. And as kids we were going, no, you have to press this, you have to press that. And just the frustration kids have when trying to show old people how to play a game. Fantastic memories that will live with me forever, and it was Yar Kung Fu and specifically multiplayer as well. Um, of you know, trying to uh, um, uh, fight each other. But I'm gonna go against the computer, one player start. Let's see if my skills come. That's not right. <laughs> my favorite game of the lot, and it hasn't loaded properly. That's not right. That's, ah, uh, that's annoying. Oh no. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try a clean, I'm gonna turn the power off. Power back on. I really want Yi Kung Fu to load. <laughs> this is gonna be a complete bust if Yi Kung Fu doesn't load. Again, look, I'll, I'll get it on, I'll get it on an app and that we'll do it separately. Well, it deserves an episode in its own right, Yao Kung Fu. I love it. Please load properly. Sinclair. It's weird at this point, it all seems fine. One player. Player one, stage one. Okay. I'm not gonna mess about with it because I might do further damage to the other games. Um, so yeah, I'll have to look out for an image of Ya Kung Fu. It's just how it's gonna have to be. So, look, <laughs> that's a real shame because that was the game we played on day one. But let's have a look at what games you've got. So, Chart Busters Pack, that's what we've got. 
You got Super Test 1 and 2, so while they're not my cup of tea, you got the kind of sports games that the whole family can get around and do those joystick waggling stupidity things um, and actually have some fun. Cosmic War Toad, that wouldn't load today for us, um, but um, from memory, it's a bit of a sort of sideways scrolly shooty thing, I think, I can't remember. Um, an adventure gaming gift from the gods, I don't think I ever really worked out how to get very far on that. Um, Nomad's okay, Nomad's not bad, and Maelstrom, like I said, once I got into it, that was quite a fun game to revisit every now and again. And then, because I had the Chartbusters pack, having platformer, short circuit, where well, there's an adventure game and a arcadey platformer as well. Um, Green Beret, great action platformer, love that game. Great escape, adventure game, once you worked out what you had to do, um, great. Mutants, meh. In all honesty, Yi Ar Kung Fu, great beat em up. And again, fun for all the family. Um, really, actually really annoyed that didn't load. Um, I can't even begin to tell you. But look, once I get working out how to load games off an app, um, then we're away and I'll just load it, the tape based version. You know, what's the difference? Um, so yeah. So that, it was a really good pack to have back in the day. A great day one pack. Um, so from here, a look, I'm really pleased to have a Spectrum. Um, lots of great memories, as I'm sure I've come across already, of Spectrum ownership that I eventually got one. And it was a shock to the family because I'd wanted one for so long when I said I want to sell my Spectrum because I want to get an Amiga. And they were like, what are you talking about? Because they knew how long I'd wanted a Spectrum for. So it was actually a big thing. And they didn't quite get that the quantum leap that going up to an Amiga was then going to be at that time. But for the time that I had the Spectrum, fantastic, fantastic machine and such a neat design. I actually absolutely love having that sitting on the shelf again. Gonna have to find a good place to, to situate it. Yeah, really, really nice machine. So I'll try and recollect the box. And then most of my games were on tape. So the only games I had on disc were the ones that came with the machine and Road Blasters and Thunderblade. And there's a stories to be told against how I got both of those as well. All the rest of my games were on tape. So I will try and recollect the tapes. I wanna recollect the correct box and outer sleeve for this, as I said. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And if you're into Spectrums, there will be more Spectrum stuff coming up. Um, and I'll do an episode on each of these games individually once I get them up and working. All right. I won't do any more until I get a cleaner picture on a screen though. Just wanted to share this initial replaying of these games experience with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Cheers.